Hey everybody, how's it going? So I wanted to read a piece of news that showed up here that I think is good news. Somebody had linked me to it and was talking about it as if it's bad news. I want to talk about why I think this is good news and why I think it's a little bit manipulative to try and frame this as bad news. So it says here, U.S. capital has explosive growth of COVID cases. Doctor says, chief congressional physician urges greater telework masks. No breakthrough cases have caused serious illness so far. You may have noted one of my complaints in prior videos is when they would talk about Omicron and the cases and how many cases there were, that every single time they mentioned it, they were not mentioning how sick the individual got. They were just saying it was a case. The fact that they have not caused serious illness is a good thing. And I think that this is something that is important to note. And I like that it's in the beginning of the article. It says the U.S. Capitol has seen an explosive growth of coronavirus infections, with more than 13% of those tested turning up positive over a seven-day period, up from less than 1%, the chief doctor for Congress told lawmakers and staff on Monday. Attending physician Brian P. Monahan said in a letter to member offices obtained by Bloomberg News that hundreds of people have been infected and he urged maximum use of teleworking and better masking. This is important. Because one of the things that's driven me nuts is when you see it, that establishment will say a face covering is needed to get in here. A face covering. Not in a, a KN95, not an N95, not even a surgical mask. Literally just put a Hanes undershirt in front of your face. And, you know, it, it bothered me that the language of, quote, face coverings was still being used even when we got to the point where KN95 masks could be had like, you know, 10 for 10, 10 for 8 bucks and stuff like that, as you could see on Amazon here. Most of the cases at the Capitol are breakthrough infections of people who've been vaccinated, and none of those so far have resulted in serious complications or hospitalizations, Monahan said. Most of the cases at the Capitol are caused by the Omicron variant. Now, depending on the narrative that you want to weave, this could be either really good news or really bad news. And I found that people who want to take this and twist it into bad news, in my opinion, are using a very manipulative narrative. And I'd like to explain what that is. So there are people who are against the vaccine. And again, if you, if you don't want to get it, I don't particularly care. I got it. I don't care what you do. But when people say, look, the vaccine doesn't work, because only the vaccinated are getting sick, I think this is bullshit and it needs to be pointed out as bullshit. And this was what, you know, the implication was in the comment that I received that linked to this article. So let's just say, let's say, hypothetically speaking, that you have a, a population of 1,000 people and 990 of them are vaccinated and 10 are not. Who is going to get more COVID? The vaccinated group of 990 or the unvaccinated group of 10? Obviously, the group of 990. So when they write that most of the cases are in people who've been vaccinated, but the article doesn't state what the vaccination rate is of those people, it makes it easy to come to the conclusion that only vaccinated people are getting COVID, which is bullshit. And I've seen people try to kind of push this, which is, look, only the, it's all the vaccinated that are getting it, yet you have a group of people where almost all of them are vaccinated because it's required that they get vaccinated to be in that area. Uh, what really matters here, what truly honestly matters is the end of that sentence, which is, and none of them so far have resulted in serious complications or hospitalizations, which to me means that the vaccine is actually doing its job, at least to the terms that I care about. And you'll have people in government that claim that cases are going up, we need to shut things down, we need to change things, we need to put restrictions and all this other stuff into place. Me personally, I don't care if a fully vaccinated individual gets the sniffles. It's just, it, that that's not what matters to me. What matters are breakthrough cases that cause serious illness, not simply breakthrough cases. So this is a good thing, and I do believe it is proof that the vaccine is actually doing what it is supposed to do, which is protect me from serious illness or death, which I care about. Not care, don't get me wrong. Obviously, I would prefer to not get a case of COVID Getting, you know, getting sick at all sucks. But again, I don't particularly care if I get a mild case of something. What I care about is a serious case that royally screws me up or puts me in the hospital. So I really do think it's important to point that out. Uh, it says the daily case rates will increase even more substantially in the coming weeks, urging greater precautions. Blue surgical masks, cloth face masks, and gator masks must be replaced with the more protective KN95 and N95 masks, which I agree with. You know, in, in the beginning of the pandemic, we were telling people to use these gator masks, cloth face masks, literally put anything in front of your face with the idea that it's better than nothing. And I have heard people say that these gator masks can almost, depending on how they're worn, can actually be worse. Very rarely do I see someone wearing this where it drapes so what is I clicked on an image and oh my God, it didn't bring me the image. Anyway, I very rarely see it where 
it, it drapes this evenly on somebody. Usually this opens, this section on the bottom is completely open and it winds up actually, you know, kind of amplifying it outwards or something like that, uh, where I understand the, the suggestion that people be wearing N95s or KN95s now that they're more cheaply available. And I do think it is important to start really, really working on replacing the vocabulary of wearing a face covering with a KN95 or N95 and for F's sake, above your nose like they're able to do in Asian countries. I've never seen a picture from South Korea or Japan of somebody wearing their mask as a chin bra or below their upper lip or below their nose, yet that is pretty much half of New York City when I walk outside. The Senate is scheduled to be in session this week. While the House has not, some of its members are planning to be at the Capitol for commemoration events tied to the one-year anniversary of the January 6th insurrection. House Democrats are scheduled to get more details on Tuesday about updated Capitol Health protocols during a noon conference call, according to a separate notice sent to Monday to lawmakers' offices. So at the end of the day, when I read this, I'm happy. No breakthrough cases have caused serious illness. That's what I care about. That's what allows me to feel safe and secure in living my life and going about my day and not really caring as much about cases exploding. What I care about are the seriousness of those cases if I'm talking about, again, shutting down living my life and shutting down, you know, just basic, um, yeah, I, I guess that's pretty much it. Let me know what you think in the comments down below, and uh, let me know what you think of lines like this, where you'll read it said that most of the cases are among vaccinated people, but none of those have resulted in serious complications or hospitalizations. I forget the name of this. There's some sort of blot. I forget the name of the blot. It's at the, you know, it's on the tip of my tongue, but there's this thing where somebody will put an ink blot on a piece of paper and people will essentially see what they want to see in the blot, depending on their beliefs or whatever else. It's, or it's kind of like Yanni versus Laurel, where I'll read that, again, pro-vaccination people will focus on this part of the sentence, anti-vaccination people will focus on this part of the sentence, and people who are, tend to be unbiased will focus on all of it, which is, yeah, you know, the vaccine is not great at preventing cases, but it's really good at keeping you out of the hospital. And again... That matters to me. Let me know what you think in the comments down below, and uh, I will see you in the next video. Bye now.